Jimmy the Black Belt Broker Team and your Colorado Springs Foodie Realtor coming at you with another Beer and Taco Tuesday. No beer on this one, just tacos. We are at El Taco Loco in Manitou. Uh, it's right on the roundabout. is a tasty place, good tacos. They have seven options of meat. They were out of the carnitas because they were making it right then, so we didn't get a try it, but um, I think the chicken actually was very, very good. So the pollo was very tasty, good quality, tasted very fresh. Um, none, of, none of the tacos had cheese, which is also interesting. Not having cheese on tacos is not super common, especially not even in the case of fresco, but I didn't like for not having it. Good flavor. The pastor was very good, probably one of my favorites. The carne asada eh, was probably my least favorite, to be honest. I didn't love it all that much. Uh, the adobo was good. Really would have liked to try the carnitas, but everything was fresh, clean, exactly what you'd expect. Ah, oh, uh, birria. Birria was decent too. And a uh, little bit soggy. That's probably my only complaint about the birria. They obviously keep it in the broth, and when they put it in, it gets a little tiny soggy. But with, with the tortilla, just, just, you know, comes with the territory, right? If you've got juice and broth, you've got a little bit of a soggy tortilla. Um, with lime, fresh jalapenos, uh, or I mean, sorry, uh, pickled jalapenos, which I love, and I ate a bunch of. Salsas were both good, red and green. So, yeah, if you're in Manitou, and you wanna have some tacos, you cannot go wrong here. Of course, I'd love to try it again. Got some other things on the menu. We will definitely be back. And if you don't know where El Taco Loco is, it's right next to the Mate factory, which everybody knows where that is, right by the park. And with that, we'll catch you on the next one.